Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Come alive. Sir. What do we have? Oh, this is the Atlantic. Um, the coronavirus was an emergency until Trump found out who was dying. Mm. The pandemic has exposed the bitter terms of our racial contract, which deems certain lives of greater value than others. They make that a little Can bit bigger. Can you make that bigger? Uh, right there. Six weeks ago, Ahmaud Arbery went out and never came home. Gregory and Travis McMichael, who saw Aubrey running through their neighborhood just outside of Brunswick, Georgia, who had told authorities they thought he was a burglary suspect, armed themselves, pursued Aubrey, and then shot him dead. The local prosecutor, George E. Barnhill, concluded that no crime had been committed. Aubrey had tried to wrest a shotgun from Travis McMichael before being shot. Barnhill wrote in a letter to the police chief, the two men who had seen a stranger running and decided to pick up their firearms and chase him had therefore acted in self-defense when they confronted and shot him, Barnhill concluded. So, so let me get this straight. So I'm jogging. You start two men pick up their gun, one after me, kill me, and that's self-defense. So you ain't supposed to fight back if somebody chasing you with a gun. Hmm. But I'm jogging. I got nothing in my hand. They thought I was a suspect. They killed me because they thought I was a suspect. Yes, because they chased you and you fought back. So therefore, their life was in danger. And you black. That's what it's. That's what I heard. Hell, that's why I'm here. I don't know when our people's going to wake up, man. Go ahead. On Tuesday. As video of the shooting emerged on social media, a different Georgia prosecutor announced that the case would be, excuse me, would be put to a grand jury. The two men were arrested and charged with murder yesterday evening after the video of the incident sparked national outrage across the political spectrum. To see the sequence of events that led to Aubrey's death as benign requires a cascade of assumptions. One must assume that two men arming themselves and chasing down a stranger running through their neighborhood is a normal occurrence. One must assume that the two armed white men had right to self-defense and that the black man suddenly confronted by armed strangers did not. One must assume that state laws are meant to justify an encounter in which two people can decide of their own violation to chase, confront, and kill a person they never met. But Barnhill leniency is selective. As the appeals Josie Duffy Rice notes, Barnhill attempted to prosecute Olivia Pearson, a black woman, for helping another black voter use an electronic voting machine. A crime does not occur when white men stalk and kill a black stranger. A crime does occur when black people vote. 
The underlying assumption of white innocence and black guilt are all part of what the philosopher Charles Mill calls the racial contract. If the social contract is the implicit agreement among members of a society to follow the rules, for example, acting lawfully, adhering to the results of elections and contesting the agreed upon rules by nonviolent means, then the racial contract is codis codicil re rendered in invisible ink. Once stating that the rules as written do not apply to non-white people in the same way. The Declaration of Independence states that all men are created equal. The racial contracts limit this to white men with property. The law says murder is illegal. The racial contract says it's fine for white people to chase and murder black people if they've decided that those black people scare them. The terms of the racial contract, Mills wrote, mean that so, non- So, hold on. So, black people scared white folks, but white folks not scared black people. In other words, when they see us, they're scared. So, when, when we see them, we see Jesus. You know that's what they're saying. Right. You're supposed to see Jesus? Yeah, when you see them, you're supposed to see Jesus. But when they see you, they're scared. They're supposed to see the devil. Yeah. Mm. Let me get a script real quick. Give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 real quick. Because it's basically saying it's all right to murder a black man. His life, yep. his life really doesn't mean anything. Yep. Watch this. That's what he said. 50 and 1? 50 and 7. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 7. Mm -hmm. Read it out. All that found them have devoured them. Read. And their adversaries said, we offend not. You see that? So if we feel threatened, if we need to chase them, that's perfectly fine. What have we done wrong? Read. Because they have sinned against the Lord, mm -hmm. the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. All right. This all goes back to what? Hey, we sinned against the most high God. Now look at the predicament we in. All right. Go ahead. I'm Re sorry. Drop that. Oh. Drop that. That's all I got. Hey, another thing on what you just read, mm -hmm. where it says uh, we offend not. This morning, me and Deke was watching some uh, of the they got new footage on YouTube of the brother going into a and a, a house that they was making, like they had sheetrock all, mm -hmm. all over the place and all that. And he's like this, looking around. It's about three seconds. But during the, the whole clip is about, what, five minutes deep we was watching? Five minutes. But it's a three second clip they kept replaying over and over while you hear a voice in the background. So at least a hundred times. At least a hundred times. Just that one little clip of him going back and forth like this. So it was a house under construction. It was a house under construction. construction, yes. He went inside. He didn't steal nothing. But because he went inside, they say he was trying to steal something. But he didn't steal nothing. He's just looking in. So he could have went in and urinated. Yeah. He could have he could, he could took a pee or whatever. But they only have him looking around like this. But it, they keep replaying the same clip three times, three over and over. So they're trying to build a case. Yes. yes. They're trying to build a case. Yes. Wow. So it's like they offend not. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good, D. The racial contract is not partisan. It guides staunch conservatives and sensitive liberals alike, but it works most effectively when it remains imperceptible, imperceptible to its beneficiaries. As long as it's, as long as its invisible members of society can proceed as though the provisions of the social contract apply equally to everyone. That's that we have not done no offense. But when an injustice pushes the racial contract into the open, it forces people to choose whether to embrace, contest, or deny its existence. Video evidence of unjustified shootings of black people is so jarring, in part because it exposes the terms of the racial contract so vividly. But as the process in the Aubrey case shows, the racial contract most often operates unnoticed, relying on Americans to have an implicit understanding of who is bound by the rules and who is exempt from them. Now, this racial contract is stipulated that um, under white man's uh, laws, it only applied to white men who own property. Is that what she said earlier? As far as the, uh, the Declaration of Independence. Right. And that it did not apply to black men. Correct. That, watch this. We keep trying to say that the Constitution applies for all right. people right. equally. Mm -hmm. It was never written for all people right. equally. Exactly. We were in slavery when that was written. Yep. So it did not. Remember, what was it? The Dred Scott Law? Mm -hmm. Where the brother tried to sue? Yes. yes yep. And yes. they said, no, no, your property. You have no right to sue. Right. Get that. And uh, watch this. First Peter 2. This is what black people need to realize. The black Christians need to understand this. First Peter 2 and 10. The book of First Peter, chapter 2 and verse 10. 
Which is which in time past were not a people. So in time past we were not a people. During the sixties all the way up till now, we are not considered a people. Right. Go ahead. But are now the people of God. But are not, meaning we woke up to the truth that we're the Israelites. Go ahead. Which had not obtained mercy. We, we didn't obtain mercy, it seemed like, but now God's waking us up. Go ahead. But now have obtained mercy. Why? Because we understand now Christ died for us, Christ is our people. That's who the Bible is written for. But that first part, which in time past were not a people. That's why in the 60s, our men was marching around with signs saying, yeah. I am a man. Because we were never considered a man. We were never considered a people. To this day, that's how they look at us, as property. And we, our people in Christianity cannot comprehend that. And that yeah. was all in Hannibal Lifetime. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, I was, uh, oh, I was looking at something on uh, Facebook this morning. Somebody put something up. I don't remember where I was reading that. They said, when, uh, uh, what is that brother that's gone down with the Skittles? What's his name? Trayvon, Trayvon Martin. Martin. They said, when Trayvon Martin got killed, black people go and buy Skittles and put their hoods on. Yes, I remember that. When, when uh, Mike Brown got killed, black people go and uh, with, what their, they, hands up, don't with their hands up, don't shoot. Mm -hmm. when, the blood, when Eric Gardner got killed, what black people was doing? I can't breathe. Oh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe I can't shirts. Breathe. Mm -hmm. I can breathe shirts. When uh, somebody else. Oh, now they jogging for uh Yeah. Jog for Mars. Now they're jogging run for, for this Mar. brother right here. I run with them. When stupid. is, when, listen, when are we going to wake up, man? That's just stupid. Mm -hmm. So in other words, they said they make black people advertising for, for their own murders. And murders. Are they own oppression? <laughs> their own oppression. <laughs> but you know what it reminds me of, D? Is it comes across to me like the media or the social media is even, even though it just, it's another way for you to have an outlet of a little frustration or anger, but you don't really do nothing about it. You just, you just post your little picture and your little hashtag, run for mod, run yep. for a mod, and that's it. And you go about your business. It's nothing. Yeah. It's, it's nothing. And it's the same cycle over and over. You know, now, now you could just post it from the, from the, um, the, the comfort of your couch on your little phone, tapping buttons. Everybody Facebook run for a mod now, huh? That's, that's all the protesting they're going to do. Two years yeah. ago, you like pray for Paris. Damn. Oh, damn. Now you like run, run. for mod. Which one is it? Damn. Change your little flag to uh, um, the, the French flag. Remember that everybody was doing? Or yeah, the man. Negroes was doing that? Get that in Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Make a yeah, that's it right there. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression making a wise man mad. So when the Bible says surely oppression makes a wise man, the operative, operative word we want to look at is wise, not a stupid man. A foolish and silly man will do what? Walk around marching with their hands up, walk right. around marching with a hoodie, yeah. walk around marching or jogging, and getting hit upside the head with watermelon. <laughs> it makes no sense. The Bible says a wise man, surely oppression makes a wise man, man. A wise man will do what? He will consider, he will begin to organize. We don't. And a gift destroyeth the heart. Right. They get like they gave us a Martin Luther King day. That's a gift. We all settled and calmed down. Watch this read. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. The beginning of this captivity, it says better is the end of it. Th the end of this captivity is going to be better than the beginning because we're going to get delivered at the end of this thing. Right. Go ahead. And That's the, right. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. The patient in spirit will humble him and herself to the word of God. That's what we will do. Return to the truth that we're the Israelites. Keep the commandments. Organize as a people. That's what we're going to do. It's as better is the patient in spirit than the proud in spirit because the proud will go out and do dumb things. Dumb and foolish things. Like march down the street. Exactly. Now watch this. Uh, 4 and 1, chapter 4, verse 1. Ecclesiastes, mm -hmm. chapter 4, verse 1. All you black Christians, listen real good. Mm -hmm. So I returned and considered all the oppressions that are done under the sun. So Solomon saw all the oppressions done under the sun to the Israelites, our people. Go ahead. And behold, the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had no com comforter. So he sees all the tears. He saw all, now this is Christ speaking through him. All the tears of such as were oppressed, and they had, we have no comforter, right? And on the side of their oppressors, and on the side of the white man, there was power. They have power. Right. Like it says in Nehemiah, they have yep. power over our bodies. Mm -hmm. These people have power to create a disease and kill us. 
Go ahead. But they have they have no comfort. But we have no comforter. So this is our captivity time. But it's almost up. That's right. <laughs> all praises. Bitch, all I saw praises. something like what That's you're talking right. about right now yesterday. Well, it was it was a Facebook post, but Jake all on a Facebook post. Oh yes, I love this. This is the best thing. And what it was, it was all pictures of Esau at the rally for the the yeah. Arby brother wow. and they was the the and that's the that's the same that's the same face I mean I was like y'all so happy now they like oh look at the diversity in our community we all we all gathered together but it was all pictures of Esau posted by Jake's sister mm. where it, just all the East and they just so happy that wow they here with us at the same the issue is that our people can't see who the enemy is right. that's the issue right. Um, right give me a quick one real quick give me Sirach thirty four. And give me verse 21. Like Bishop just brought out, a wise man, he can look to the left and to the right and realize that he's being oppressed. It's our people that can't see it. Those who are the industry. Read what you got. The book of Sirach 34 and verse 21. Watch this. The bread of the needy is their life. Uh huh. He that defrauded him thereof. So if you defraud bread from someone who is in, the, in need, read. Him thereof is a man of blood. He's a man of blood. That's exactly what our oppressors have been doing to us for the last 400 years. Read on. He, ta he's that, he that taketh away his neighbor's living. He that taketh away his neighbor's living. Read. Slayeth him. Slayeth him. What did they do to the indigenous people on this side of the world? They took away their living. They, brunk, they stole us from the west coast of Africa. It's saying that a person who does that is a man of blood. It's, for, it's time for our people to wake up and realize who the enemy is. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, now he's a hunk. <laughs> Freaking Brad, Brad, Brad Pitt. That's I think I think this? what uh, Captain Marita says is heavy. Our people still after four hundred years they still don't realize who the enemy is. Right. right. They're looking for the devil. The devil. The devil is right next door. Right. What's that expression? The devil is in the details. Yep. <laughs> when you see all those interracial gatherings with black people and white people together, mm -mm. Yep. don't a lot of white people. I'll say them white people generically. They're not there for no good. They're there to monitor us. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what they're there for. If these Christ, if they really believe the Bible, watch that. I'm sure these Christians do not believe nor obey the Bible. Ezra, Ezra chapter four, verse one and two. I want you to, you Christians. Oh, you make me sick. I need y'all to, the Lord needs y'all to wake up. Ezra chapter 4. This is what our ancestors said about our enemies that was slaughtering us. The book of Ezra chapter 4 and verse 6. No, 4 and 1. 4 and 1. Where are you from, Haiti? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin. I want y'all to see that word adversaries. The word adversaries is the same word as enemies. When you read Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 through 68. Go ahead. Heard that the children of the captivity Builded the temple unto the Lord God of Israel. Watch this. Then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of father of the fathers and said unto them, let us build with you. We want to work with you. We right. want to join mm -hmm. with you. Go ahead. For we seek your God as ye do. We serve the same God you do. We all under, just like in Christianity, we right. serve your God. Go ahead. Yep. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of um, Esarhad, Esarhad. Esarhaddon, King, King, King of Asher, which brought us on, up hither. Now, let's see what the good Israelite Christian folk, well, you know, I'm going to say Christian because they anointed, what their response is in verse 3. Bring it out. But Zerubbabel and Joshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build an house unto our God. But we ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, hath commanded us. You see that? They said, no, you can't join us. We don't want you to work with us. We're going to work together amongst our own people That's and it. do it. Right. And watch the response. I'm going to show this is what Christianity does. Watch. If you respond like that to white folks or any other nation, the way our right. ancestors did, right. watch the response. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah. And trouble them in building. See that? That's what See they do. Thing? Like Black mm -hmm. Wall Street. Remember, we we built Black Wall Street right, ourselves. Right, what do white man right, do? Right. Bomb them. Bomb them up. Hey, up. say somebody raped you and right, it's bomb them right. and destroy them. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that about that protest. I said, if if Israel that was at that protest, just saying they had, even if they didn't know the truth and said, 
we don't want nothing to do with y'all. Mm-hmm. The, the, Esau would have turned on them yes. just that yeah, quick. Because right. mm-hmm. I found out right. in the world, you think they nice, but make them mad. Yeah. That's right. That's make right. them mad and you're going to find out who you're dealing with hey, for real. Hey, I always say, just go to your job around Christmas time or Thanksgiving and tell them you don't celebrate that. Okay. Yep. Watch how you, you're, you're eating my friends turn on you. Yes. They don't deal with you the same way. Just tell them you don't celebrate Christmas and it's a pagan Europe. Tell them it's a Europe, you don't celebrate European holidays and see how they treat you. Mm-hmm. That's right. Hey, yeah. verse five say he they hired counselors against them. Yeah, that goes yeah. into your informants going and uh, yeah. frustrate what the hell you're building and discourage the hearts of the Israel That's to right. build on. That's right. That's what they. That's do. a heavy verse. Yep. The same thing today. Uh, what what is that move, on the screen? Can, can you on. move that from the screen? Oh, wait, wait. It's eleven sixteen. Break. Is it? How many minutes we got? One or two? Four minutes? What the hell? I ain't gonna play no four minutes for commercials. That's a long time. Four of them each, one minute each? Oh, God. Three of them a minute each. So it's three minutes. All right, Israel, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna play three commercials, all right? For the. I asked for commercials. That's in three of them. Okay. All right, uh, Israel, we're going to take a quick minute. Please do not log off. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in... Hey, Kidan, three minutes? Israel, we'll be back in three minutes. Bear with us. Do not log off. The show is not over yet, all right? Patient Science Radio. Patient Science Radio. Welcome back, welcome back. We're back, Israel. Hey, we back. Before we go back to to the article, I just want to make something clear to all of your... Uh, discounted. Do you, what do I call it? Dis- disgruntled. Disgruntled. Discount. No, discounters. Who was with IUIC? Oh, uh, <laughs> who yeah. left? That's something else. Listen, 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 listen. Some of you need to be put seriously put out there. Yeah. Because some of you, you left IUIC because you become a hoe. You was cheating on your husband, mm. or you was talking to a man online. We put you out. <laughs> We, you got caught in our dodge, we put you out. Now you on lie. You want to you mouth about us. Yes, I'm talking to you, J. Judith. Yes, you a hoe. Damn. We all know you a hoe. Damn. You are cheating on your husband. Damn. We put you out. Now you start wanting you mouth, you got, you got mad at you. Listen, it's, it's not our fault you, you become a hoe, you cheating on your husband. No. That's not our, don't get mad at, why are you mad at us? What's her name again? J. Judith. Yes, I'm talking to you. J. Yes. Judith Israel. Now you on Facebook, one in your mouth. And you got that, 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 what is that? That glass that was in the glass, brother. Mr. Glass. Mr. Glass that was in uh, Dallas camp. One oh, in your they, mouth. They saying I got multiple properties yep. in other countries and yep. all that. Wow. Okay. Some of you, you actually think you know us. Because you got a picture with us. Listen, you don't know a damn thing about us. He said, you seen me. I'm telling you straight. You don't know a damn thing about us. Yeah, you seen you see him and beg for a picture. Yes. You don't, know, you, don't know you don't know us. You don't know us. So stop on your mouth and social media because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, one day I'm going to go woke. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to, listen. Broken arrow, broken. <laughs> listen, I'm going to go woke. <laughs> I'm going to go on social media put all your, your business out. He you think I'm joking? Keep on, keep on, keep on. You say you're a risk Because some of you need to be put out there so people know exactly who you guys are. Why you are to put you out. And they prove how full of shit they are. To prove to you how full of crap you are. You can't say it on radio. Yes, I said it. Some of you get caught on adultery, cheating on your husband. Your husband is weak. When we tell your husband to put the hoe out, he's weak. He decided to left with you. Now all of you are wanting your mouth and I, about IUIC. Damn. It's not a, that's not a, we didn't, listen, we didn't tell you go jump in another penis. <laughs> you decided to go jump in another penis. Don't get mad at us. Choice. That's your choice. Don't get mad at us. We just, Uphold the law. That's our job. That's what we're going to continue doing. And the script says rebuke before all. Yep. So you can run in your mouth, run oh. your mouth, but I'm telling you, some of you need to be put out there. Oh, why I left IUIC? Oh, well, I was a hoe. I bet you're never going to say that. Why IUIC put me out? Because I was a hoe. I bet you're never going to say that. Thirsty traveler. Yep. I bet you ain't going to never say that. <laughs> you're never going to give the truth why you left IUIC. Well, why I used to kick you up? I bet you're never going to admit it. <laughs> got a quote Go full Let's of Let's go arrows. back to the article. <laughs> the <laughs> we on the same article? Mm. Hey, go, go up. 
Jump to the part where he's talking about. Okay, the di- uh, start with the coronavirus. The, conf- the coronavirus epidemic has rendered the racial contract visible in multiple ways. Once the disproportionate impact of the. You know, ep- hey, hey, I'm sorry. You see this coronavirus? If our people don't repent with this coronavirus going on, listen, I got news for you. A lot of you are going to drop dead after this. Say round Most of guys going to kill a <laughs> lot of you. Most of guys show you clearly who the white man is. Because this coronavirus, I, I, listen, I don't know if you know, this coronavirus is, uh, most of guys show you clearly how Esau want to kill you black behind. That's That's right. Proof was last night. Yes. Yep. He showed you clearly. But some of you, you're still defending the white man because he's Jesus. We got to love he's everybody. White. You got to love everybody. Indeed. Look, look at the different ways we're getting targeted yep. during the corona quarantine. You're supposed right, to be right. quarantining and safe in your house. Go out for a jog, a little fresh air. You get murdered when you're jogging. Yep. The cops is whooping your ass in New York. Yes, sir. You're getting killed in Indiana. We just found out the sister got killed in uh, Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. She was, right. Why did she was in her house. What's they, her name? Brianna? And she was the police. And, she was a and doc- she, no, she was an EMT. An EMT. EMT, yeah. In house. And the cops lie. And guess what? That was a month ago. That happened March 13th, almost two months ago now. And that's just coming to light now, like the brother in uh, Ahmad Arbery. It just coming to light. And it's all during quarantine. Sleeping. Yes. And you're still sleeping. You're still in La La Land. <laughs> you're still in La La Y'all Land. Y'all love Babylon. Brianna right? Taylor. Brianna Taylor. Name? She got killed in Louisville. She's an EMT. She had two. She worked at two hospitals, and the cops did a raid at the wrong house and lit her up with hot brass. Killed her. Bishop, remember they did a raid at the house for a man that they already had in custody. Correct. That's right. The right. guy right. is already in custody hmm. and they still raided the sister house, the right. wrong house. And they the lied about this. it. They lied about they it. Lied about it. And yep. said she was a suspect, which was a total lie. And remember in New York, New York, uh, you know, we, we got this six feet, what is it called? Social distance. Six yep. feet, that thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> in New Two York, back. white people in Central Park, Two feet from each other, right. and the cops are giving them water, mask, and mask. water. <laughs> you thirsty? And up in Harlem, they're beating the hell out of black people. And yeah. Knees on necks. Knees yeah. on the neck, right? Or harassing yeah. the one brother who was giving out food to the to the hungry people. Right. They come here, you know, you ain't supposed to be doing that. And exactly. your music too loud. Hey, right? Kidan, Kidan, there is an article about NYPD ticketing black and brown people in New York. Overwhelm me ticket. Hey, go up, go up. I want you, I want you, I'm, I want to, listen, I want to show you guys how our people is in La La Land. I want to show you our racist. Because some of you thinking, there is some good white people. Listen, yo, listen, man. Most I say, I'm going to reveal this devil. You now, sick. God I just want you to God. read where he said, you see where he said the data? I want yes. you to read that part. Can we see the, the, the title of this? Read the article. The, uh, the, title, the title. Read. Uh, go up, go up. Read the title. Blacks and Latinos are overwhelmingly. That's what Bishop is talking about. Overwhelmingly ticketed by NYPD for social distancing violations. Now, go up. I want to show. I want to show you guys how evil the white man is. Now, the, I want you to read the data. The data revealed that 374 summonses were handed out from March 16th to May 5th, averaging less than 10 summonses a day over the 42-day period. And that a total of 193 of those summonses issued were black and 111 were Hispanic, according to the New York Police Department. Now, I want you guys to think about this. 374 tickets was given, right? Right? Yes. 193 was to black people alone. 193. Another 111 were given to Hispanics. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what hundred and four. That's three hundred and four. So the other seventy went. Uh, this other seventy went to the Chinese. The what? <laughs> the East Yo, Indians. You can you can you cannot make this up. You cannot make this. But up. God made everybody equal. Yeah, God, everybody's equal though. We all one in Christ Jesus. We all one in Christ Jesus. <laughs> we all what, equal. That's what you want to say. Your and your Negroes in La La Land. I don't know what more I have to do to your to for your to be paid. Kill them. I don't know. Some that's of you, man. Some of you, man. Listen. You love this place called Babylon. You love it to death. Mm. And you're going to die here too? Yep. 
Hey, D, I had a family member tell me if I wake up in hell, then I ain't hurt nobody but myself. I said, that's some dumb sh- mm-hmm. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> about I, dumb I believe people. Romans 3 and 27. I said, that's not talking about everybody. Hey, can Come I get a script? People. Can I, let, let me get on um, Isaiah 22, I think it is. Isaiah 22, I think it's verse 14. Yep. The book of Isaiah, Isaiah 22 and 14, because some of y'all got to go. It's just, it's, y'all not going to wake up, man. Two thirds is already prophesied. You got to go. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 22 and verse 14. And it was revealed in my ears by the Lord of hosts. Surely this iniquity shall not be purged from you till you die, says the Lord God of hosts. <laughs> you what the Lord said? <laughs> you got to go, man. It is what it is. I know we get upset. We get angry about, you know, some of our people getting uh, beat beat on, uh, hit upside the head with nightsticks, smacked in the head, social distancing. We know, we know the laws are not in our favor, but you just got to go, man. Y'all, y'all refuse to wake up. No, they refuse. refuse to wake up, man. No matter what tragedy is put in front of our face, no matter how many angles we could sh- show them, they won't wake up. Y'all not waking up, man. You know, the, um, the, one of the main problems is our people, some of our people will get angry and they will uh, complain about, you know, racial injustice, but nobody will turn to the solution of the Bible. No, nope. yes. Right. Right. yes. Right. Yeah, for instance, what, what is the solution? Like Christians, vote. what is the solution? Vote. We've been voting for what? 60, 70, 80 years. Vote for your locals. What is that? Vote for, it doesn't matter. What's the solution? Is that, are we gonna march again? Because they marching for Arby right now down at the yeah, courthouse. They're jogging. They, they, you, y'all yeah, jogging yeah, we, from we, y'all running <laughs> jogging for Maud, right? Well, what else y'all gonna do? Y'all held Skittles for, for Trayvon. What else you got? What what y'all got? Right. That's a hell of a question, Cap, because they always debunk what we say when we say follow the laws, keep the commandments. Right, right. They always say that's not the right the right route to take. But they never give a solution to what. No, nope. they don't have one. Never no solution. Never give a solution. They don't mm-hmm. have one. Hey, hey, give me, give me uh, Revelation eighteen four. They don't have a solution. The Book of Revelation, chapter eighteen, and verse four. Hey, give me, what's the scripture that said our people been spoiled? Um, Isaiah, Isaiah forty two. Forty two. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we do Revelation fourteen and uh, I, I mean uh, eighteen and four first. I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out, come out of her." My people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. You hear what God said? God said, come out of her, my people. That come out of her is not talking about leaving the country. It's talking about come out of I, I'm Esau philosophy, come out of his doctrine, come, come out of these churches. Right. This, like Captain said, no solution. Hmm. None. They got zero. Look at this, look at this coronavirus that's going on, right? Look at our, our, black, our, our people is dying. Where is you are, Shaptons? Quiet. Where are you at? No way. Yeah. Where is you TD Jakes? Where are you yeah. for dollars? Quiet. None of them say nothing. This, uh, the other day, I was reading an article about LeBron James said something about that brother, Avery. Ahmad Arbery. Ahmad Avery. Guess what? Another coon hmm. got mad because he said something. Oh, Jason Whitlock or something. He got mad. A Jake said? A guy yeah. Had? A Jake got... Let me tell you, man. That's what I'm telling you. Some of our people love this place. Yeah, they love it. They Some love of our people man. love this place. The white men cannot do no wrong. Hmm. When our people get killed, one of us says something, you know what they say? Oh, oh. Uh-uh. You're racist. Oh, you racist. Oh, you, oh, you're not bringing unity. What unity? There's never been no unity between the white, black men and white men. Hmm. That's never going to happen. That's, I'm going to repeat that again. There's never going to be no unity between the white man and the black man. Somebody told me Bro, this week that separation never gonna happen. is not the way to go. I said, so what, the black people should be gathering themselves together, as the Bible said, and working on fixing themselves because you voting for somebody that you don't know is not going to fix your problems. They told me being separate is not the answer to fixing our problems. But you posting how long, what's wrong the how black long, community. How long, how long, how long they've been together and nothing, nothing resolved? Since they've been alive, El Hannibal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at uh, uh, Psalms one. We've been going. We've been suffering violence in the, since the time that we've came to the shores of the Americas, and the Bible. And we're still suffering violence. Right. And black Christians, I always we got to just get on them. These ministers, read that. What you say? Well, Psalms somebody. Psalms one forty and one, and read that a little bit. This is what we got to pray. 
The book of Psalms, chapter 140 and verse 1. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. So if man. you didn't know who the evil man is, he tells you that the evil man in the earth is the violent man. Go ahead. Which imagine... And have we not we been... Aubrey... What's his name? I always forget. I Ahmaud Aubrey. 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 He suffered violence. Right. Breonna Taylor suffered violence. Yes, sir. Uh, Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland Sandra Bland. Sandra Bland. Come on, help me out here. Corinne yeah. Trayvon, Trayvon Martin. Martin. Alton Trayvon Sterling. Martin. Right. Oh, violence, violence, violence. Orlando Castile. Right. Mayor Brooks. Go ahead. Which imagine mischief in their heart. Yeah, I, I'm chasing him down because there's, there was, um, what he said? Robberies oh, he, in my he's neighborhood. A he's, a suspect. Suspect. he's a suspect. He's a suspect. And I'm going to stop him. And then when I stop him with my shotgun, I'm the victim with my shotgun now. And I feel threatened by this black man I can, so I can kill him. Go ahead. They imagine mis- They lie about it. Yes. And say, uh, I oh, fear for my life. I fear for my life. That's what, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Go ahead. Continually are they gathered together for war. The Bible says this violent man is continually against us for war. When is the black Christian going to wake up and believe the Bible? They never believe what the word of God says. That's the problem God has with them. But Come you know, on, yo. You know what's going to happen, Bishop? We're going to leave out of here. We're going to hear this couple doors down having his car service. Right, right. He already, out that garbage. Out there. Bam, bam, bam. he already got his chairs out there. Right, and all, all the honking horns and the, the big women uh, 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 screaming hallelujah. Right. <laughs> this is who we leave out of here. Exactly. Watch the read on, read on. They refuse to wake up. Exactly. Man. What's the next part? Verse three. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Meaning they lie constantly. Hmm. That's what it means. They got poison in their lips. Go ahead. Adders poison is under their lips. Mm-hmm. Salah. You ever know when they shoot us down, they search like the brother that they killed. They search through the records. Right. Has he ever been arrested? Mm-hmm. Or oh, he had a, a weed thing from ten years ago. Yes. Like yeah. that justifies murdering him. Yeah, that's what they said about the Aubrey guy. Oh, he was arrested when he was fifteen for wow. uh, for something. And he's twenty five now, going that's on twenty six. By the guy who shot him. Wow. Yeah. The guy who shot him arrested Damn. him when he was 15. I'm gar- if they open the cases of that Edomite's uh, case file, mm, right. he's done more lies and evils yes. to get blacks yep. incarcerated and murdered. Yep. Just check them. They need to open up all his cases and throw them out. They right? assassinate the character so that way when they put that um, case on you, people will be like, oh, it's just another black guy that did dirt back in the day. Right. Right. That's what they're doing, That's what they doing with that the video. Next, watch the next verse. Verse 3, verse 4. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my goings. Their job is, their purpose is to overthrow the goings of our people. And we haven't realized that yet. That's all I had. What you got, D? Uh, Then we got a phone call. You got a phone call? All right, put it through. Hey, Shalom Caller. What's your name, question, or comment? Hey, Shalom. Shalom, most most high blessed. Most high bless, I'm calling from uh, Atlanta again. I'm calling from Swanee, from Gwinnett County. Hey, and, shalom, um, brother, shalom. Yeah, yeah, how y'all doing? I love what you, I love, I love what Israel's doing, and I love y'all brothers. But um, I have, uh, there's, a, there's a, you can look it up on YouTube, and also there's an article. It's a Jake, uh, uh, one of, one of, a, one of our own was lost. Um, Aaron Courtney, he's a, he's a, of a Christian, Negro Christian, who created a campaign called Hug a Nazi. And what's crazy, and I'm you know, leaving a comment about it, that his dad is a bishop, a Christian bishop. And you know, I'm just like, why would you create a campaign called Hug a Nazi and want to convert them? And then at least with uh, the scripture, Ecclesiastes 1, 1 and 15, what is crooked can't be made straight. So, you know, they're always trying to convert Esau into, I don't, <laughs> into being normal. And he can't. Esau can't never be normal. So I just want to leave that comment, man. He's normally the devil. <laughs> <laughs> He's always the devil. And there's another one. You, y'all remember the brother, um, y'all remember um, John McGraw at that Trump rally, that old Edomite punch that Jacob in the Yes, face? yes. Okay, his name's Joaquin Jones, right? And yeah. Joaquin, he's going to come around. Of course, the uh, Edomite, that big, that demon, um, John McGraw, he, he got put on, uh, you know, uh, probation, went to jail, paid fines. So Esau got a little tap on his shoulder for exposing Esau, you know. And then Rakeem Jones, who got punched in the face, a, a Jew, is one of our, you know, freaking. He goes and apologizes to him, John McGraw. I remember that. We did picture scenes on that. 
Yeah, and he, I, I was like, I'm glad y'all covered that, man, because I said, that's a wicked show, because if I, uh, you know, out in Burnett County or anywhere in Atlanta, if I run past my brother in Chicago or accidentally step on his shoe or do mm-hmm. anything, Jacob, who's not in the truth and doesn't know these laws, he's going to go ahead and turn around and say, excuse me, uh, he's going to come with aggression. And their minds been so brainwashed, you know, by this so-called racism term, because we was looking at another one with the native in Germany. They have a, a festival on Gad. These Edomites dress up and pretend to be Gadites, mocking Gad. Dress up like Indians all the time. So it's like wherever you go in this world, Esau shows his true colors. It's just the Christian, the Negroes who don't want to wake up. That's uh, true. That's true. Yeah, thank you, that's it. Thank but I'm most high man. Thank you, bro. Most high God bless you. All right. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hang up. Dick and I be here when I call. Call in. Dick and I be here. Go ahead. Call in. He on his bike. <coughs> call hey, in. Dick. Are you on your bike? That stuff, the statement you made. <laughs> yeah, you were riding last night. <laughs> that statement you made about Game of Thrones about Theo. How you say Theo represents the unrepentant of Israel mm-hmm. and his sister who tried to deliver him out of the hands of one of the five, uh, five families. And he didn't want to get delivered. Yeah, oh, that's the scriptures. That's his sister opens in the scriptures. He was broken. He was broken. That's the right. enemy broke him. That's, that's the enemy broke him so bad, mm-hmm. now he's in the favor of the enemy. Yeah. Right. You know, nobody knows what y'all talking about. Right? Game of Thrones, season five, okay. I think, episode. Anybody y'all watch Game of Thrones? I did. Okay, only one brother. I so did. nobody. Y'all Dion, just... Dion Greyjoy. <laughs> Dion Greyjoy, who was named, later changed his name to Greek. Greek. Freak. Greek or something. <laughs> this is what the brother that just called yeah, was, was talking about. about. Abiel is on the phone? Abiel is on the phone? All right, put, right, put Dick and Abiel too. I hope he's on his bike. Shalom, <laughs> mighty, mighty Judah, <laughs> Dick and Abiel, shalom. Hey, shalom, brothers. Oh, man, I just got through jogging, man. Just did about seven miles. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you did seven miles. Yeah, I was out here burning the fat, man. Burning the fat. Everybody good? Everybody good. good. Yeah, good. good. We glad you're burning the fat, Deacon. Uh, yes, sir. Did you say you was going to lose 100 pounds by the quest? Did you say that? Yep. Hello? My phone's breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Hey, I, had to, I wanted to call in to speak on, um, y'all was talking about, you know, the solutions and things of that nature. Remember how yesterday, Mr. Uh, we covered in class about how he saw everything he does is well thought out. Okay, his hidden things, his think tanks. He goes into you know the psychology of the things that he does, and the reason why we are a spectacle amongst the world because the other nations know our history about what happened, what we what we've gone through. Every so often, you'll even see they'll even throw it out there, you know, as like you know the bones in the closet concerning what America has. Is turning us, you know. The other nations know what we go through, and we are fathom around the world. They look at us like, "How are y'all still going through this? Why are y'all still allowing them to do the things that you do?" Because in their mind, they would say, "We wouldn't allow that." Imagine if the Chinese was being killed in the streets like we are, like we're like Bishop said a while back. There'd be a thousand ninjas jumping from <laughs> rooftop to roof. <laughs> <laughs> this nation. What it, what's happened is, and there's a psychological term of, you know, the state of mind that blacks and Hispanics, you know, have been forced into. It's been put upon us, and it's being docile. We are, we are to the point, when you look up the definition of docile, it says, ready to accept control or instruction, submissive. Damn. Damn. We have been really lynched into the mind frame that there, we can't, ourselves, we can't even create a solution. Here it is when a, when a black man comes uh, with a solution, there's another another black man that's going to rise up against him first yeah. and say, no, your solution mm-hmm. ain't right. Mm-hmm. Here it is, we fighting amongst each other trying to fix the problem, because, and we don't even trust ourselves to try to stand up and do something. Mm-hmm. And it's because we've been put in that state of mind. And he saw knows that, and he exploits that. That's why we continue to do the same thing over and over and over, because he knows we won't come together and actually uh, implement a solution. We'll fight amongst ourselves. Yeah. This is why this Bible is so important. This is why, listen, the spirit of Christ got to bring us back. Because right. without that, man, we ain't, yeah. ain't focused. Yeah. We ain't going to do nothing. Hey, right. hey Deacon, Deacon, you know what's so heavy? We got other Israelite camp attacking IUIC almost every single day. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah. they weren't attacking the Christians. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. They weren't attacking TDJ, Crefo Dollar. These guys are multimillionaires. They don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. But you got our own people. Our own. So we're fighting two war. Yeah. yeah. We're fighting the, en the enemy and our own people. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to yeah. make a documentary about um, these McMichael brothers. Or, or, or bring out any, any juicy investigation, investigative information on them. I doubt right. it. it. Ain't happening. Yeah, is there is there is their religion going to be brought out? <laughs> Concerned yeah. what they believe in? Is their nope. church? Yeah, they're good Christians. Nope. They're, yeah, they're, they're Christians. They say they are good old boy Christians. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we need to find a way. But to I guarantee the they're not going to find out. They're not going to say, okay, they go to this church. This church is responsible. Hmm. But no, are you yeah, ISIS? Cool. Are you? If it was a black man, oh, he be, uh, remember what happened in New Jersey. Yeah, the, yes, the, yes. the sister and the, 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 the shooting, the sister and the brother that went in there and the shooting. Oh, yeah, they, mm -hmm. they were they were a uh, Israel, they, they were Israelite, they were affiliated oh, yeah, with black, yeah, Hebrew Israelite. With black Hebrew Israelite. Yep. But they're not gonna, they're not gonna say the same thing for this. <laughs> oh, they went to this church, they went to that church, they're not gonna say the same thing for this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Guarantee you, the, I guarantee you the media is not gonna say nothing about that, right. And neither will and neither will uh, all the the uh, the, the derelicts and, and defectors going to do a four hour video on what's going on with them. Where's all where's where's all the effort to you know expose what's going on in a Christian church? Where's the where's the apology that the apologetic that that's going to rise up and stand up for what's 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 right? They ain't worried about them. Why no, they're are not. No. Uh, what is that Why? guy named uh, uh, Mark Reiser? Mark, Mark Reiser. Reiser is not going to go. Hey, let's find out where this go to church maybe let's find out what the church teach did they right. teach, teach to hate black people i bet you they're not gonna find i bet you nobody's gonna investigate that exactly exactly why why are we the threat that's the real question why is right. israel united <laughs> the threat mm -hmm. like we talk about the, the think tank mark riser and the rest of them idiots they sat back and had a think tank. They did a threat assessment. What is the what is the greatest evil against our people, against the white race? What do we what do we need? What are we facing? What's gonna be our demise? And they came to the assumption that the Israelites mm -hmm. are the biggest threat. We need to attack them daily. Right. Why? Because yep. we're teaching the word. That's right. We're teaching the word. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's all I got, brothers. I, I ain't gonna stay on this. Hey, before you go, bro, before you go, uh um, uh, bro, when I see you on that bike, man, I was thinking, only if the bike can talk. <laughs> Man, he said yo his bike under oppression. <laughs> his bike says sit down and I may go over you. Oh, the bike is reflecting on the curses. Like, like, I, I have oppressed his pulls evermore. <laughs> Oh, oh man, good oh, to good yeah. to hear you, Deacon. Oh, praise. Thank you, Deacon. Yes, oh, please, oh, please. Most high Christ bless. Most high Christ bless. Most high Christ bless. All right, so this is a brief. We can just we ain't got to look through the whole thing, but just the beginning. Play this video so we can see. What would you do if you were face to face with hatred? Would you yell? Would you punch? For Aaron Courtney, a high school football coach from Gainesville, Florida, the answer was hug. Courtney was on his way out from a protest against white nationalist Richard Spencer's speech at University of Florida when he spotted his chance to confront someone who hates his very existence. He just had one question. What the fuck you don't like me? But Randy Furness, a neo-Nazi skinhead, didn't have an answer. Instead, he stared. I could have hit him. I could have hurt him, Courtney told the New York Daily News. But something in me said, you know what? He just needs love. Aww. That's when Courtney, taking his father's teaching as a bishop at heart, offered Furness a hug. And finally, he got an answer. I don't know. It's a gesture that a former uh, white supremacist recommends as hey, he cuffed his head. And Samantha B recently even dedicated stop, stop. a whole tongue-in-cheek segment to it. Hey, I would stop, imagine stop, 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 stop. Yo, this is what that's, Rick. that's the scene on Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. Rick. Look, the hell Listen, there is a scene in Game of Thrones. Bishop Bishop turned me into watching this thing, so I had to go and freaking pay twelve dollars to freaking HBO to watch that crap. But anyway, anyway, but it's 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 really good. I gotta admit, it's really good. I start watching the thing, I cannot stop. Yeah, they kill people. In there is a there is a there is a scene in there where. This this white boy, he's the king's son. He was acting like he's helping this other kid. In reality, he, he kidnapped him. And he started abusing him. When I say, boy, he did. He abused him so bad, he cut his rod. They, they, he turned the kids around. Now the kid love him. 
Yeah. Yep. That's what you see here. Right now. Yeah. Esau, listen, Esau did so many bad things to our people. Now we love them. We, our solution is we got to love them. Let's hug them. Let's just love them, baby. Mm -hmm. So our solution is not let's get revenge. Remember, remember in Django what that white guy said? The white guy said, I don't understand how this guy shaved my father three oh, times a yeah. week for Leonardo 50 DiCaprio. years. He could have cut my father's throat. Why didn't he do that? Because Esau said, if that was me, yes. I'd have cut his throat. Esau said, if it was me, I would have cut his throat. But right. what he's saying is, they, 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 opp they oppress, now love the oppressor. Hmm. The oppressor did so much evil to the oppressed. Broke the oppressed. Break the oppressed. Mm -hmm. Now the oppressed come back instead of saying, I want revenge. The oppressed said, I'm going to love them. Hug him that is him. why they hate the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we yeah. said, according to Revelation 13, you're going to go in captivity. We're going to do the same thing you did to us when Christ come back. Oh, don't say that. That ain't Christian like. That's not Christian like. Do not say that. We said Christ is a black man. No, do not say that. If you say Christ is a black man, that means we're going to go in slavery. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do not say that's why they hate us so bad. I'm telling you, that's why they hate us. It's That's what you see here. Mm -hmm. The Jake, the guy is a white, the guy is white supremacist. Right. He said, let me give him a hug. He, oh, he don't need, don't, I don't want to punch him in the, he don't need a punch in the face, he need a hug. Love you, son. He got to realize that, that he's the, that guy Courtney's the son of a bishop who, who, who has misinformed him, miseducated him. He was surrounded by Jake's, yep. the Edomite was. So out of fear of getting his behind whooped, he said, I don't know why, but he knows why. Mm -hmm. These bishops, these ministers in the churches have mistaught the scriptures in Matthew 5 where Christ said, <laughs> Uh, love to love enemies. your enemies. That was referring to the enemies of your people when you read the precepts. Deuteronomy 22, verse 1 through 4. Exodus 23, verse 4. It's the enemies of your people. But this is what I wanted to get. Look at Psalms uh, 58 real quick. This is what you were making reference to earlier, Deacon. Psalms Dang. 58. We've been trying to love the white man for a long time. It does not work. Watch this. Psalm 58, start at verse 3. The book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 3. Bring it out. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The wicked are estranged. The wicked is a so-called white man. Malachi chapter 1, verse 1 through 4. Esau, Edom is the wicked. Go ahead. That's the white man. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speak, speaking lies. Speaking lies. So as soon as they're born, the Bible says... They speak lies. When you hear that baby cry, it's lying. It ain't hungry. That's right. It's lying. <laughs> Go ahead. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Meaning their philosophies, their doctrines, their political doctrines, their uh, religious doctrines. Go ahead. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. Meaning a deaf adder can't hear. So our people, like that brother Courtney, what's his name? Courtney what? Our, um, Courtney Reed? Aaron Courtney. Aaron Courtney. Aaron Courtney. He's trying to speak to the white man. They cannot hear mm. what we're saying. God compares the white man like a deaf snake. Go ahead. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Aaron Courtney is a, a charmer. He's trying to charm the white man. I love you. You need a hug. Read that part again. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Well, black people is the voice of charmers. Go ahead. Charming never so wisely. Charming never so wisely. Watch this. Break their teeth, O oh God. You hear what David said? God, we need you to break their teeth. Go ahead. In their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O oh Lord. See that? That's the, that's the only thing that can stop them. Stop them. And not a hug. A hug's not going to do it. Bring it inside. White woman says, hug me. Love me. You Negroes do it. And then what she say later on? You rape me. Rape me. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. Now your whole town burnt up and destroyed. Now that other guy, Jamal Bryant, the pastor. Y'all know that guy, yes. Jamal Bryant? Yes. Look what he did. Look what Jamal Bryant, your friend, you know that guy. Look what he done did. Come on. Watch this thing. Read that. Pastor Jamal Bryan to give free coronavirus test at Mother's Day event Sunday. Now that sounds, oh, he's giving free tests. Pull up, that's him right there. Read what it says. Just over a month after offering coronavirus test to minorities for $150 each. You see that? Damn. You see what this dude did? Oh, Damn. This dude is a millionaire. 
Jamal Bryant, when you check out his net worth, he's a millionaire. But he's charging the people $150. Yeah, I, I bet you that. nobody's going to do a video about that. Nobody's going to do a video about that. Right. Nope. Right. Right. Where is that hoe, J. Judith? <laughs> yeah, do a video about that. Do a video about that. How he's robbing the people. Right. Go ahead, do a video about that. You ain't going to do that. You ain't going to do that. Go ahead. Just that flat face. Do a video about that flat face. <laughs> That's why they be calling you angry. <laughs> <laughs> Just over a month after offering a coronavirus test to minorities for $150 each at an event he was forced to cancel, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church Pastor Jamal Bryant is now offering the test for free. See that? In- People got on him. They got mm-hmm. on about that. He was trying to take trying advantage to make money. of the people. Yeah. Anyone who needs it, if they show up at his church on Mother's Day. See that? So he was forced to do it for free. Yep. That's all we want. That's all we need. Yeah, hmm, go ahead. Damn. Uh, phone call. Oh, we got a phone Put call. Put it through. Hey, Shalom Caller, what's your name, question, or comment? Hey, Shalom. Uh, this is the officer from Obadiah Rochester, New York. Hey, Shalom, Shalom officer. Hey, Shalom officer. Uh, Shalom. Bishop, Deacon, Captain. Um, you know, I just wanted to just comment. Uh, there was, uh, I don't know if you saw the article about a mob that surrounded it. This happened in North Carolina that surrounded a, a black uh, black home, uh, people in the house. Um, and, uh, it was a, just like a mob of, of uh, <coughs> off-duty cops and everything else uh, demand, demanding, because uh, there's some crime that occurred and they came to this house. They had they were armed to the gill, uh, demanding uh, the, uh, access into the people's house and everything. They actually um, did issue arrest for that. Where was this um, at? I, this is in North Carolina. This is in North Carolina. Um, but the other thing I, you know, I just, I wanted to mention though, uh, that, that really is disturbing is the, the time frame when they, um, and this speaks to how many times you see like a, a story come out about a lynching or something. This person was strung up on a tree and there's no, no further, um, uh, information about it. The, time, the, the, the thing that hits me, right, is when this stuff gets caught on camera, that's one thing. But um, it's like you've got to multiply the incidents by a, probably a hundred, the, the times the things that go unreported. But, and then on top of that, you have this, this uh, Ahmad, whatever his name was, the, the, the guy in, uh, uh, in Georgia that got killed in, in, in uh, broad daylight. This happened in a neighborhood. Right, and this was two months ago, and, the, and what strikes me is, is amazing, and it's a lie to me. Is often they want to put it out, and they say, "Oh, the, the nation is outraged." But when it was the outrage in that neighborhood, this happened in broad daylight, and no one. We just found out about it. Two, uh, and this happened two months ago, and even like the other thing with the Louisville, um, the, the sister got killed. Now, there's always this. Um, dynamic that's painted that all of America is outraged. Yet you'll see 80,000 uh, Christi- uh, Christianity uh, Edomites supporting just uh, coming to the aid of these two killers that they're going to support, you know, to, to, for uh, help with legal fees and all that. So it, it's a, it's a, the, the frame of mischief. Y'all you got, you got covered it with all the restrictions, of, of course, but it amazes me how um, they, they continue to get away with this, and not only that, the time frame that goes by, um, and it, it, until it's exposed, and then they then lie about it as well. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, yes, sir. So, hey. it, I, you know, I just want to I, I just want to call in about that because that 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 window of time is is it really is a disturbing element. Um, that it could be two months. That that happened and no arrest happened hey. until it was brought to light. Officer, um, I got a yep. script. I got a script for that because yep. the the uh, in the Ahmad Aubrey case, one of the killers was a D worked for the DA, right? Right. The daddy. Uh, the yep. dad worked for the DA. Yep. Give me Wisdom of Solomon chapter uh, two verse ten. I want you to read ten and eleven. Watch this because you you kept harping on the time limit. I mean the time frame. Of uh, what mm-hmm. took him so long to get arrested? Watch this. The Book of mm-hmm. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two, 
In verse 10. Come on. For the ear of jealousy hear no. it. No, wisdom of Solomon 2. I got it. Yeah. Let us oppress the poor righteous man. It says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. What is that? Isaiah 14, 32. We're the poor. Read. Let us not spare the widow. Mm-hmm. Nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Read. Let our strength be the law of justice. There it is right there. It says, mm -hmm. let our strength be the law of justice. They're the ones who make the laws so they can they can chill. All right. They were forced to bring that thing forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All praises. Yeah. That's 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 heavy cap. You hey. know, and that Hey, so office, hey officer. Hey, but look at the we, rest we, of we're gonna say thank you for calling. We because we are we want out of time. Operate it's 12 o'clock already. Uh, we got 10 more minutes, Deke. No, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, that's why I, I want to show this. We went out of time because I want to show this before we get off. This is what you our Officer this. Obadiah yes. was talking about. Thank you, Obadiah. Thank you. We appreciate you. Show that. Get on, put that through. I want to show this before we get off the air. Deke and Yawasop, I hope you're watching this. Because you went out there in North Kakalaka. <laughs> Somebody going. Who, Somebody going. Read I'm it? like, are you going to read charges? This? I thought it was a video. I'm sorry. Charges filed after all after armed all white mob led by off duty deputy terrorized black family in North Carolina. Wow. Off duty. What's the wait? What's the date on that? Go back. To, go back up. What's this the date? This is on that? May the 9th. Wow. Yes, that was yesterday, yes, right? Dang. Mm, wow. Yeah, May the 9th, 2020. Hey, let's play the video a little bit. What did what this video say? Let's play the video a little bit. Dang. As a result of that critical case review, I'm here to announce today that I am directing the Pender County Sheriff's Office to file criminal charges against two different individuals who were present there that evening. First, Jordan Why two? Why all of them? Why not all of them? Mm -hmm. This is a mob. Go ahead. With forcible trespass, as well as breaking and entering, and willful failure to discharge duties. Now, willful failure to discharge duties uh, relates specifically to an officer. I want to read the charging language uh, where you willfully and corruptly violate an oath of office as a New Hanover County Sheriff's deputy according to the true intent and meaning thereof to support and maintain the Constitution and laws of North Carolina where he committed the offenses of misdemeanor breaking or entering and forcible trespass while armed and in uniform in a county that he was not duly sworn in and in furtherance of personal, not law enforcement purposes. The statute, which is 14-230 uh, of the North Carolina General Statutes, goes on to say that anyone convicted of that offense has as one of the um, punishments uh, removal from office as part of that, the sentence. Get on, get on, that's it. You know, you know, you know what I want to say about this, Bishop? Mm -hmm. You have a wondering... What happened to, you know, those, 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 the KKK that used to wear the hood. The lynch mobs. You yeah. never, you never wonder what happened to these hoods. What happened to them? They just disappear? Mm. No. Now they wear suit tie. They got a badge. Mm -hmm. They got guns. That's the same people. That's the same bloodline. Right. Your guys, your guys thinking these bloodline change. No. Those, you got those lawyers today, those prosecutors. Those uh, 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 DA. those DA, DA the police officers, the CIAs, the FBI, they are the children of these KKKs. Right. But they must have a leopard change of spots. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, just hire you cannot change the nature of the beast. Right. Have a clan the beast have children. Mm -hmm. The beast have children. You cannot change the nature of the beast. Yep. Exactly. Those are his children. These two white men who follow that kid, kill him. Those are the sons of these KKKs. Right. Yep. Today, they hide behind a badge, they hide behind a suit, they hide behind a book. Now, there are you judges, you lawyers, hmm. right. you prosecutors. That's why the prosecutors say, listen, I'm not, fudging, I'm not filing no charges. He got the right to defend himself against a man with no weapon. Hmm. You got the right to defend yourself against a man that's jogging. Pull out a shotgun and shot him dead. That's called defend yourself. Not, those are the sons and the daughters of the KKKs. And right. he's actually jogging away right. from you. Yes. <laughs> Right. The right. son did those KKKs. Right. <laughs> if you ever wonder what happened to them, those are the bloodline. Exactly. Hey, Deacon, hey, go back to that. Uh, go back to that. Go back. Watch this. I just, I just happened to scan. Go up. Go up. Kamala, come on. Read this real quick. We go through it quick. I know we're short for time, but it's important. Can y'all get that off? Go up. 
Read the letter to the district attorney. Go up. Come on. Up, 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 up. Stop there in the gray. There you go. Read that quick. In a letter addressed to I the- I want you to hear This is heavy. Go ahead. In a letter- in a letter addressed to the new Hanover and Pender County District Attorney Ben David James James Lee claims the armed group of people all white knocked on the door of the home of Monica Shepard late Sunday night. Shepard was asleep, but her son Damien, a high school senior, was awake and playing video games in the front of the home located in Avondale Community in Pender County. The Shepherds are African American. When Damon answered the door, Lee says a group demanded to know information about a young missing girl. The group was apparently looking for an individual named Josiah who lived next door to the Shepherds but left the neighborhood a month earlier. Lee says Damon identified himself by name several times, but the group continued to press for information that he did not have. Among the people, excuse me, among the people on the shepherd's porch demanding answers was a person carrying an assault weapon, another with a shotgun, Lee wrote in a letter. Also, part of the group was off-duty member of the New Hanover, New Hanover Sheriff County's Office, Sheriff's, County Sheriff's Office, excuse me. Lee says Deputy J.T. Kidder, who works in the detention division, was in uniform and armed. Wow. When Damon attempted to shut the door after telling the group who he was, Lee said the new Hanover County deputy stuck his foot in the door and demanded to come inside. That's a lynch mob. You see that movie right. before, right? right. We've seen that movie mob. before and it didn't yes. work out well for us. No, it did not work out yes, well sir. for us. That's the lynch mob. So and like, this was when yesterday. Yesterday. Wow. Well, late That's, this Sunday? remind you of uh, Rosewood. Rosewood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rosewood. I demand to come in. So I suppose they need a hug, and that'll fix everything. Yeah, yeah. they need a hug, huh? That'll yeah. that'll change them. So yeah. so I know what some of you say. They get you to come out, give them a hug, huh? They they were doing their duty. Your Christian makes me sick. Arrest. That's yeah. what they call. Uh huh. They yeah. Citizens arrest. Oh hey, hey Deke. You yes, know yes, yes, they yes. must be mad when we say you Christians make us sick. You make God sick. I just got one scripture, mm -hmm. Isaiah 65. Because you this make God we, sick, right. you make us sick too. This is why we say this. Uh, in verse Isaiah, six, uh, yeah, Isaiah 65, verse 5. The book Isaiah, chapter 65, and verse 5. Bring it up. This is Christians, watch this. Which say, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. I'm Holy Ghost filled, washed in the blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. You know what it means when you're smoking somebody's nose? You can't stand them. Mm -hmm. God says you make me sick. That's what God says. That holier than thou spirit. That's these Christians out these black That's Christians. Right. That's, they That's smell right. like cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I want. That's it. All praise. All, all praise. Right. Come alive. Right quick. Okay. Um, so today we learned that uh, Bishop uh, Deacon is angry and he don't like flat face haters. Um, we learned that if Hannibal tell you how old he is, he gonna have to kill you. And today we gonna learn a new country word. Half to. Huh? Half to. Half to. Yeah. If Hannibal tell you how old he is, he gonna have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it means praise, like need praise. to or something like that. Or maybe it just means have. To. All right. Oh. Uh, Cap, Cap, go ahead. Do you think? All right, brothers and sisters, that's our show for today. We pray you learned something and enjoyed the show. Please remember, we do have a school here in Riverdale, Georgia, 691 Highway 138 in Riverdale. Okay. Uh, we have online classes three times a day, seven days a week for free at IUIC Classrooms on Facebook, as well as Israel United Christ on Periscope. Uh, we also have, if you've been paying attention, um, the IUIC Lost Files on YouTube, which has IUIC content from the grassroots stages showing how far we've come. Okay, you're, so that's. You're going to see Deacon Malachi when I he see was it. 150 pounds in these videos. Thin Jim. I saw you, Deacon. With a six pack. <laughs> Thin Jim. I saw, we, we watched it the other day. <laughs> so that's IUIC Lost Files on YouTube for the grassroots video. Uh, some of those videos, uh, no, those videos are no, um, no garments, no right? Garments. No garments, mm -hmm. no nothing, you know, something like that. So get in tune, all right? Um, we have donations. If you want to give to the body, you could do so via PayPal at IUIC 
dot atlanta at israelunite.org if you want to give to the booster club you could do so via paypal at iuic dot fundraising at israelunite.org get it oh yeah you got it all right all right uh israel we want to thank uh brothers and sisters behind the scene that you cannot see who make this possible officer elasha officer kidan officer uh johan uh, johan officer asa officer elwood <laughs> officer malachi <laughs> officer dino Oh, your guys, man. Officer Kenaniya, Officer Zakor, Zakor, Soldier Emmanuel, and uh, sisters who provide breakfast for this morning was Sister Lashan from the House of Officer Kamalai, and Sister Avaya, uh, House of Officer Yali. Y- Yali. Not Yale. Yali. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look funny, brother, for Yale. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Moab moment. Moab moment. That's old. That was yeah, last week. Again, um, we want to thank all you viewers, brothers and sisters. Thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing supporting us. That's right. Uh, brothers and I sisters, don't more... forget to support the Booster Clubs. I got some more uh, pictures too. Because after this thing is over, we're going to run and kick it. All right. Uh, again, you want, you, we got... You want to do it, Bishop? Do, do, it. It. do it, do it, do it. All right, Kadon, put the pictures up. We got a couple more pictures. Yeah, a couple more pictures. Do they want their pictures to be up? Yeah, yeah, these okay. do. That put a couple is, more pictures up. That, yeah, put that one right there. That's Sister Kiana. She's 42 years old. She don't look 42 at all. Yeah. So that's the other angle we asked for, right? Yes. All right. What's the next one? That is Sister... That Dawn. Is sister Dawn. Yes. Yeah, oh, Dawn. she's from New York. That's the same sister, yes. Yeah. Oh, sister nice Dawn sister. from New York. Nice sister. Bishop voucher for her. Nice sister. She's tall. Yeah, tall she's sister. very tall. Got another one? Right there. Oh, that's, and she is oh, that's 49 years old. 49 years old. Uh-oh. All right. Who is this? That's the same sister Look right at Hannibal. Yeah, that's the same, same sister. sister. Okay. Same sister. Anything Hannibal else? Yes, sir. That's it? You like that Hannibal? <laughs> <laughs> Hannibal said, yes, sir. Hannibal, Hannibal, as you can see, man. There, <laughs> hey, she's very tall, brother. <laughs> Hannibal, as you can see, they're alive. She said they're alive. They're you? alive. Well, hey, she's she, she alive, alive uh, Hannibal. All right. Crazy. She oh, good uh, sister. Good sister. Brothers, before we go, introduce yourself one more time. You age right quick because we don't have a lot of time. Right quick. Hannibal. And, Hez- oh, by the way, tell them what kept you from, too. Officer Hezekiah, IUIC Tallahassee. I'm 25 years old. Go ahead. Soldier Caleb, IUIC Atlanta, 35 years old. <laughs> Soldier Jonah, 34 years old, IUIC Atlanta. Hannibal. <laughs> so <good. laughs> I'm always ready. <laughs> That's right. He MOV ready. Oh, man. Hannibal. <laughs> Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, turn, the, turn the camera. We have uh, some special guests to, to this morning. Uh, brothers, introduce yourself right quick. Right quick. Starting with you. Levi, starting with you. Next. Next. You married? Uh, right now. Okay. And you are the two. We know y'all married, right? Yes. Y'all married. Thank so you, brothers, for visiting. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Captain Maritas, you know, it's always a pleasure having you here, man. Oh, praise oh, the, hey, Cap, Don't forget, man. Captain Maritas is doing some. That brother right there, he's doing some heavy work in Iowa. Yes, sir. Love that brother right there. Uh, who is. Uh, Joe Ham, it's good to see you again, brother. All oh, praises. Our uh, Haitian brother. You know, Bishop, <laughs> it's good to see Bishop. Always good to have Bishop. Wow. Yes, uh, that's it? Anything else? Um, yeah, that's it. Hey, Israel, don't forget to keep Captain Shemaya, Captain Erie, Captain, Captain Barnabas, Barnabas in your prayers, all right? Uh, there was a couple of people you said yes, you mentioned yesterday to keep in their prayers, too. Uh, Sister uh, Ahava in uh, North Cali. Sister Ahava. Ahava in North Cali. All right, and and pray for each other too. All right, and check on each other. And check we need each to other. call um, uh, Captain Benaya out there regarding her. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right, Israel. With that, we say shalom. We love you. Hey, shalom. 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 We used to scream "Black Power" while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. 
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.